Welcome to the WIHS Journal. On the broadcast today, we'll be learning about homeschooling. Well, since this national pandemic and many parents have had their children home, they have to now homeschool. Well, today in the broadcast with us, we'll talk to actor, radio host, and author, homeschooling mom, Sam Sorbo. She'll be talking about her website and different ways that parents can navigate to help their children grow during this time. And we have to do that because of, uh, you know, the coronavirus. So um, tell us about, you know, your organization. Sure. I mean, I'm a 10-year veteran of home education and uh, THSC, which is the Texas Homeschool Coalition, they've been at it for over 30 years. And they formed this website called coronavirushomeschooling.com to come alongside parents who I term as accidental homeschoolers, right? (laughs) Because now everybody has to home educate and parents are really at a loss and they're struggling with this. And we want to tell them that it's not nearly as hard as you think it is. And it's a lot more rewarding than you could ever dream. And you are capable. So if you go to coronavirushomeschooling.com, you will see a website that is very friendly, very inviting. First thing we say is take a deep breath, relax. You've got this and we can help. Great. So now that on that website, does it have all the grade levels? We've got currently we've got K through five soup to nuts. So you sign up and you get in your inbox and your emails every morning, your day broken down for you exactly how to go about it. Because we understand that, you know, the, the number one thing that parents say to me when I talk about home education, typically when they when they push back is I don't know how I just I just don't feel competent. Well, we're here to tell you, you are competent. The reason you don't feel competent is because you've been taught in school an image of education, that it it looks like a teacher standing at a blackboard for seven and a half hours a day. (laughs) But we're here to say that's not true. And there are many different ways to get it done. And so we're just going to come alongside the parents and show them a way of getting it done that is effective, that, that has found success already. And, you know, homeschoolers are, they score 15 to 30 percent better on aptitude or on um, uh, academic achievement tests than kids in public school. So the proof is out there. It's just up to the parents to sort of embrace it. And I want to tell parents, this is an opportunity that comes but once in a, well, hopefully once in a lifetime, right? Yep, yep, yes. that you can you can take and you can give home education a shot. You you don't have anything to lose here because you're being forced into this, right? So you can look at it as a hardship and let's face it, this is a tragedy, but at the same time it's a wonderful opportunity for families to come together, for children to get to know their parents and likewise for parents to get to know their children better and to to make this an effort and give it a shot and I've already gotten emails from parents who have said I'm not putting my kid back in school. This is too much fun. It's too easy for me to, to be able to just sort of say, no, no. And um, so I'm excited about the number of parents that are converting now. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. So now in the curriculum, do they actually go over the core curriculum? Because I know, you know, some schools, you know, they're, they, that's what they do. They have the core curriculum. Is, is the curriculum like that too? No, it would not be common core. But it's but it would be basically in alignment with that. Um, there, are, if Common Core has uh, has myriad problems, as I'm sure you're aware. Yes. And the kids who have been um, implemented Common Core, those children are scoring lower on their achievement test. So Common Core has been a, an abysmal failure, uh, despite the amount of money that it cost. But it, we should have expected that because they didn't test it before they implemented it. Yeah. Um, so. You know, and there are schools out there that are sending curriculum home for the parents to implement. We're, we're saying that we can come alongside those parents as well. They can actually contrast and compare, right? Yes. Since when have you been actually allowed to sort of um, shop for your child's education? This is really a phenomenal opportunity. And then I myself have done a, a bunch of videos that are available online that I'm I'm putting out one a day for parents just to encourage them to offer them some tips and some insight into home education and how to get it done and relationship with their children. Children are struggling too because they're not used to being at home. 
it's a it's a testy situation, and there are some easier ways to make it through this. And so um, I would love to offer that. It's obviously they're free. They're just available on YouTube. That's if you great. want to go to samsorbo.com, that's also available. Yeah. Well, if you're just tuning in right now and wondering about this conversation, I am speaking uh, to Sam <laughs> Sorbo. And so tell us about, you know, your background on, on extensive uh, schooling that you said that you have been an educator for a while. Well, I've been educating my children at home or homeschooling for over 10 years. And I started because uh, we moved to an area for the public schools. They were supposed to be really good. And they underserved him. I mean, in a big way, there were a couple of different issues that came up. And I started to think that, my goodness, I could home educate him and fail and still do better than sending him to that school, just in terms of the relationship that I could have with my son. Um, I mean, I didn't think that I was going to abjectly fail, but I honestly was very insecure. And so out of that experience, and I have three kids, they're now 18, 16, and 14, um, I wrote a book called They're Your Kids, An Inspirational Journey from Self-Doubter to Homeschool Ad- Advocate, because I was absolutely a self-doubter when I started. I didn't, I had no idea if I could get the job done. But what I discovered was, you know, the schools are struggling. Teachers are struggling in the schools. And uh, let me take a moment to say, I applaud teachers. I think they're trying to do a wonderful service. And by and large, they are fantastic people. But they are working in a system that is, ineffective. We spend as much money or more than any other nation, save one, on our students. So our education is is the most expensive in the world, except for, I think it's Switzerland, okay? And we are 27th in the world on achievement, Wow! on academic achievement. So the schools just aren't getting it done. And now we have an opportunity to really examine that and revamp it and take a look at that. And uh, so I'm hoping, actually, that parents will take a look at the and compare the curriculum and see for themselves. I mean, that was one of the things that convinced me was the curriculum that she sent home. We, we went on a trip, and I had to ask to take some, some work with me, and she sent home busy work. She didn't send home real, real stuff. In fact, my son looked at it and said, Mommy, teacher says we don't have to do this. He was second grade. Teacher says we don't have to do this in class, Mommy. And I had to say to him, well, she gave it to me for you to do. And then I realized that she kind of set me up to be the bad guy. Wow. So I had to make him do the stuff that she told him expressly he didn't have to do in class. And that got me very disappointed, frankly, that you're incapable of doing anything that you haven't been formally instructed on. And I'm here to tell you that that's not true. You're very capable. Um, You know, we, we really need to take a step back and look at what we're calling education and then uh, we, we we need to really take a look at that. Absolutely. And and coronavirus is actually strangely offering us an opportunity to yeah. do just that. Yeah, some of us that got actually thrown into it, but um, I'm glad that you have a website and other resources. So um, before we close the broadcast, just mention your book again and the website where they can find out more information how to you know how to homeschool and either compare the work that the teachers are giving um, to the stuff you offer. Well, we we got an email I saw today come across where a mom a mom wrote in and said, you know, the school's sending home a bunch of work, but it's a lot of screen time for my kindergartner, and I really don't want her on the screen that much. So thank you for the resources that we've offered at coronavirushomeschooling.com because they're less screen-focused and more family-focused, more, more family education-focused. And so... If you go to coronavirushomeschooling.com, you can download all the materials. You just sign up. It's absolutely free. Did I mention it's free? It's free. Yep. Uh, and then my videos, of course, are available for free. You can go to samsorbo.com for those. The name of the book is They're Your Kids, An Inspirational Journey from Self-Doubter to Homeschool Advocate. It's basically why you should homeschool and how easy it is. And, uh, yeah, discover the possibilities. We think you can. We have confidence in you, parents. Amen. Thank you so much. Any details that I left out that you would like to say before we close the broadcast? Oh, you know what I like to say is we'll provide the homeschooling, you provide the love. Once again on the broadcast was Sam Sorbo. She is an author, an actor, a radio host, and also a homeschooling mom for over a decade. If you would like more details about this homeschooling program, give us a call. Our number is 860-346-1049. 
The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily those of a staff or management of a station. I'm going to support Achelli. The WIHS Journal is public affairs from WIHS Middletown, 